going on a road trip today. <laughs> I'm heading to pick up a couple of buddies. <laughs> Got my buddy Mark. We finna make a run down the down the road for a little while. Bad influences <laughs> times two. <laughs> hey there, buddy. You ready to come home somewhere else, huh? Hope I make a squirrel dog out of him so black girl will have a little running buddy. <laughs> my grandkids named him for me. They named him Tux. And I said, how did y'all think of the name Tux? And they said, well, he's got the white like all over him like a tuxedo when a guy's getting married. And so we called him Tux for short. So I want y'all to meet Tux. <laughs> His last name is Cedo. <laughs> he hadn't been fooled with at all. And so he was a little hard to catch. And so I got home with him. I let him ride in my lap all the way home. And I went to playing with him. So I got a collar on him and a leash and I needed to teach him how to lead. I know you can put a tight collar or harness on them and get a lead and drag them and they shake their head and fight it. Golly, that made me dizzy. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Whew. Oh, goodness. <laughs> they shake their head and fight it real hard and you have to drag them and they jump in and cutting back, flip, back flips. I used to be in the horse business and you know the old time and way people would rope a horse and tie him up and blindfold him and jump on his back and just let him buck till he dies out. But I have had several horses. You put them in a round pen, you talk their language and love on them just a little bit. I get on them and ride them, they never buck. And so I got to thinking, maybe it's the same way with dogs. This is what I did to teach him to uh, walk on the leash. And it didn't take but just a few minutes. And it was pretty simple, really. But here's how we did a little leash training. Now, folks, my whole idea behind this was if I could get him to walk and kind of walk along with me. So what I did, I took this ball. Tux, look at here. Tux. Look at that. And see, he chases the ball, and I walk with him with a leash. Get it, boy. Where's it at? <laughs> you can't even find the ball. How are you going to be a squirrel dog? <laughs> But that's all I did. I played with him with his ball, and he learned that he could walk around with that leash rubbing on him and stuff. And I probably spent spent five minutes with him, and now look at this. See there. And so there was no, <laughs> or very little, there, there was a tad, but there was no fighting and pulling and shaking their head and gnawing at the leash and cutting back flips and hitting on the ground and stuff. It's just a whole lot more friendly way and teaching the dog to lead. And I don't know, maybe, maybe that'll help you out someday if, if you run into the same problem. Might keep in the back of your mind. Catch a lot more flies with sugar than you do salt. If I could just throw a ball and get the fish to come to me like that, I'd be okay. <laughs> Always remember, folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick, Outdoors. See y'all.